Hey guys, so I figured today would be a good day to uh, to talk about birch. Um, I've been uh, really diving into the birch lately, and uh, so yeah, just kind of learning a little bit about um, uh, carving it and just getting some tips to, to get a good finished product. And so, um, so yeah, so I want to share some, uh, some really interesting things, so make sure you stay tuned. So I was just going to show off a few of the spoons that I've made. Um, I've done these, uh, this, the four center ones today. Um, you can see they look a little more white because I haven't oiled them yet. So I'm just going to rhyme off some tips as they, uh, they make it to my brain here. So one thing I wanted to share about birch is that it oxidizes. Um, you can carve uh, a beautiful spoon and then once it's finished, um, it'll start to go like a yellow on you. And so, so today I was carving indoors and uh, it's nice and warm in my, um, my little mud room there with a the wood stove. And uh, so some of the spoons started to go yellow on me. And um, so, so one thing you gotta basically do to, to avoid that is to, um, to let it dry uh, a little bit slower. It's like when the green wood is, um, it's very wet still and it, it's warm. Um, that seems to be my, uh, my scientific explanation for why that happens. But, but basically what you'll have is like a blotchy yellow spoon. And so, um, so if you've noticed that, just try and once you carve it, once you're finished carving it, leave it somewhere uh, to dry slow or carve it in a stage where you can go back in and, and finish it again. And so, uh, yeah, so these spoons, I'm trying to finish them uh, uh, just right away and um, and then gonna dry them slow and then hopefully, uh, yeah, they don't oxidize too bad and they still look pretty when I oil them. So another thing I was gonna share is about, um, now this is a little bit, might be confusing, but this is really important. And so, so try and follow me here, I'll, I'll do my best. There are woods that are called diffuse grain woods and then, or diffuse porous. Is it diffuse porous or diffuse grain? Or ring porous. So birch is diffuse porous. What that means is instead of the pores being really close to the growth ring, um, they're all spread out inside the growth ring. So one, one wood, for example, um, uh, is ash and the pores are huge. And so, so what can happen is that, well, first of all, it's weak. Um, if, if the growth ring is like right along the bowl for an ash spoon, that can break right off. There's nothing holding it together. It's these big, huge pores along the growth ring line. So birch is diffuse porous. That means the pores are, are evenly spread. And um, so there is not much weak points um, in the grain itself. So there are a few different types of wood that, um, that are diffuse porous, um, but but really birch, it, it stands out as far as you being able to notice uh, this trait about the wood. So, um, so that's one thing to really consider when carving birch. So when you're doing small spoons, and, and this is from the trunk of a tree, not a branch, where the, the grain or the growth rings are spread out quite a bit, you still get strength. Instead of having a huge line from the grain that is uh, that has large pores, and uh, I've heard some guys say, you know, they don't want their spoons to filter their liquid, they want it to hold it. Um, so that it can, if you carve your spoons thin enough, those, those pores will leak for sure. I mean, it might not be so noticeable where you get some soup and then your spoon's like, you know, pouring like Niagara Falls down the bottom of it. But, uh, but yeah, so the, the, all the pores are evenly spread out through birch. And so that's just, um, if you're looking for a wood that is... Uh, easy to carve for beginners and it has some good uh, some good traits about it. Um, that's just one interesting thing about birch. Now another thing I was going to share with you guys is um, just doing little uh, little designs. So so today I was uh, I was feeling notchy and so uh, as you can see I've added some notches in my spoons. And it really doesn't take a whole lot to make a spoon look fancy. So these notches here actually have a purpose. When you're carving and you're bringing your knife this way, um, and then my handles are tapered, so that I'm bringing the knife this way, where I'm meeting the grain, it, it keeps wanting to peel. You can't go too far this way and you can't go too far this way. So this notch actually breaks the grain up and, uh, and you don't get this, this, you're not chasing this, uh, the grain to get a smooth finish. So that's, um, that's just a, uh, a purposeful notch. This one here is a little decorative notch. It was inspired by a, another guy. Um, I can't think of his name right now. But anyways, I think it looks cool sometimes. I've, I was just trying it out. As far as making a spoon decorative with notches, um, one thing that uh, 
is the easiest way to explain it is to work in thirds. Now, if you take a picture with your iPhone or, or any probably smartphone, you'll see a grid along the screen. There'll be a line, two lines here and then two lines across. Um, that's called the rule of thirds, and so you have four points also. Uh, when you're taking pictures, you want a focal point in one of the, the crosses. Um, but also, if you, if you work your spoon in thirds, um, so maybe, I don't know if I, I follow that to a T, but I aim for it. So my bowl portion might be a third, then I got like a third here and then a third for the handle. It just seems to make things look proportioned, um, where you don't really have to try. It's not about like how round is your bowl. As you can see, that's not round at all. So, um, and then if you look even closely at that one a little bit, um, a lot of my spoon bowls are not round. So, but having this, the proportions of the thirds, it can make an uglier spoon look pretty. So just something to keep in mind as far as design. And then uh, one thing I was experimenting is just um, having the notches kind of in the, the center third part where you have like a clean handle and this, it almost works like a grip. So again, a little bit functional as far as a, you know, a cooking spoon goes. But, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to, to share that, uh, just some thoughts on the notches. I mean, these are just really so simple and uh, you can really take them and um, and make some, some really pretty uh, designs with them. But also it just kind of makes the spoon look a little more valuable. And um, I mean, it doesn't take much time. And so if you're selling these spoons, um, if you grab my ebook and uh, and you are trying to sell your spoons, it, it's not that much time uh, to add a lot of extra value for um, uh, for the products that you're making.